Hello there everyone and welcome back for another mod review. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Case IH Steiger Quad Track version 3.1 tractor. Fall size for this is 57 megabytes. Today's mod is going to be tested out on the Ricci Hollow map. What I'm going to do is explain a few things regarding this mod. We'll go over the shop and check out some of the specs. Then I will take it out and test it out for you. So let's take a look. Okay folks, let me start off by saying I love this tractor. This thing's super powerful and it looks great, runs great, and this is quickly becoming one of my favorite tractors. This is the Case IH Steiger Quad Track version 3.1 tractor. The file size for this is 57 megabytes. There's five different engine sizes to choose from, from 517 horsepower up to 682 horsepower. Price in the shop as is is $380,700 with a $0 day maintenance fee. This has a 40 km an hour max speed. The shop location is under vehicles, then large tractors, and there's all kinds of shop options, guys. So like I said, under vehicles, under large tractors, go up to the end, and there it is right there. All kinds of configurations here. I'll tell you, when you change the design color, what that does is change the color of the seats inside. And you get three different options there see it turn green and the rim color will work with the tires but not with the tracks obviously there's four different paint jobs to choose from case red you get this nice looking lime green then the black and then the 20th anniversary i love that i think that's really sharp looking we have six different wheel brands trailborg michelin midas firestone Goodyear and then Case IH. So every one of those wheel brands will have a variety of wheel setups. Let's take a look at some of the tracks here. Like look at all the track options and each one of these a 30 and a 36 inch version of each. 30 inch, 36 inch, look at that. They look like pretty cool tracks. Yeah just a bunch of configurations. I like that myself but with the 36 inch track thank you. Then you have three different muffler options. You got this one here. Then you have the cat muffler, and this is the one I like, the one that's horizontal. So there's a few different configurations. There's a European and two American versions. There you can see the uh, yield sign kind of offset there. Right there, it's in the middle. And then, of course, the European has these on the front and back. Engine setup. We have 517 horsepower, 550, 605, 638, 682. So attachers, you get the hitch only. Then you have the rear linkage. 600 pound weight, 1200 pound, 1800. Front three point hitch. Look at all these varieties, guys. Front three point with 1200 pound. See all the weights in the back piling up there. Very cool. I love all them options. You even have some tinted window options. You have regular. I like this one here, light tint, dark tint, black tint, and then back to regular. We already went through the engine setups. We have some weights in the front, 1400 pounds. You can see them change in here. That looks cool too. Plus you can get the three point hitch to put in even more weight. The oversized plates. Cab monitors, you can see that in here. You can take it with none. Watch about right over here. There's one, two, three, additional front lights and you can see a couple up here so fender options rear fenders you have these ones here then you got the tank fenders the extended fenders and then back to default but look at all these options guys beacons you have them there as default you can have a left only right only and you can take it none rear lighting style oval lights all around you see them change in here the square lights all around square lights cab square rear lights a ton of different things you can mess around with here so i really like this i think it looks fantastic with that paint job too so this is my favorite setup here 682 horsepower of course we have the horizontal muffler the wide tracks a bunch of weight in the front i took the three point hitch in the front and bought a black weight for it i get the light tint up there on the windows Three point hitch in the back. I think that's a three point hitch. It has it's fully weighted. You can see all the weights in there. But look, this thing just looks great. I love it. Alright. So let's start it up. Very nice. 
nice. You can see the thing flutter in there. That's very nice. Okay, let's try some lights. We got one, two, three. Let's try our sing lights. Up top and on the back. Very nice. Hazards. Very nice. How about our beacons? Work great. Horn. Just great. Okay, let's try our reverse lights and brake lights. Reverse lights. Or no, we have brake lights, but no reverse lights. Okay, so let's look inside the cab. Very nice looking interior. Have the three panels there, of course. Yeah, it kind of cl uh, clutters up the window there. It's whatever you prefer. You can take it with no none of them. Mirrors all work, I see. I'm getting a little bit of lag here, but I think it's because of all the stuff going on in the map. Okay, exterior view. So there's a couple of options that you can uh, mess around with here. So you can open the cover, you, that opens the hood. Let's go ahead and do that. Check that out. Very nice. You can see right in there. Cool. Okay, close that up with the N key. Now, it says you can unfold the tractor. I didn't know what was happening at first, but watch the steering wheel. And the armrest comes down too. So yeah, that's when you unfold it. Let's take this thing for a spin, shall we? So it only goes 40 kilometers an hour. Has the articulated steering. Here's the other one I took in lime green. Almost the same setup, but I took the Goodyear tires, the oversized ones. Take that for a spin too. There's where it looks with the lime green. Doesn't that look great? I love that. All the weighted tires, fully tinted windows. Okay, so we'll take this guy for a drive first. Imagine having these toys in real life to go take for a spin for the first time. So it drives nice, it handles nice, doesn't slip around. Like I said, this one got the articulated steering. And it handles just great. Let's fire this bad boy up. I really like this tractor. This is amongst my favorite, for sure. This definitely is in the top five. Alright, let's get these guys out on the field and test them out, shall we? Okay, we got the huge Borgat Cedar out on the field. Let's get it unfolded. And we'll see how this fares on the field. And off we go. Not a problem at all. Our hired worker. Very nice. Let's clear the HUD and we'll get a good little look at it. This doesn't that look great? Love it. I love it. Okay guys, let's try out the green machine here. We have a cultivator that requires 500 horsepower. Let's put it to the test. And off we go. Works just great. I love the tinted windows. That looks so good in the green too. With the green rims. Got the monster Michelins on it. I'll blow it up with the wheel weights. Look, you can see it's sinking in the ground there. Look at a rocking coming out of it.
So there you have it folks, that was the Case IH Steiger Quad Track version 3.1 tractor. Additional information and links can be found down below in the description. Guys, thank you so much for watching today's review. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, maybe you can leave a like down below. And if you're new to the channel, why don't you go ahead and click on Nick right there in the middle of your screen. Then hit the subscribe button and the bell. And I'll bring you new mod reviews every second day and Let's Plays every other day. Plus my Patreon link is just below that if you'd like to help and contribute to the channel. It really helps out. So, until next time, take care, and I will see you all in the next one.